Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're doing the best tweaks of the week. We do these every Sunday along in collaboration with ModMyEye.com. Be sure to go over and check those guys out. The first one I'm going to be sharing with you today, uh, we'll go ahead and let you see a little bit about what these look like in Cydia. No banner. What this one is guys, it's $1 in Big Boss and it eliminates your banners from coming in and blocking while you are doing something else on your device. You know, you may be recording a, a video such as I'm doing right now. Just, I'm just being sarcastic, but you know, watching a video, a lot of times when you get those little pop-ups, they can take a big part of the screen and that can be quite annoying. So, you know, this keeps that from happening and I'm just going to show you real quick how this works. Uh, we'll send a couple through real fast. Hopefully we can beat two or three of them. And then when you come back out, see, you, we got all these uh, notifications and we got 14 of them, you see. And there's nothing coming through on the screen, you know. But that's going to be left up to you do not disturb you know you turn off your phone so it turns a whole lot of other stuff off too and you just heard right then I got some kind of a little notification and it didn't interrupt us on the screen you didn't see it so you know this does have a have a place you can use this there's, there's use for it next up no scroll when new messages now if you are a person that goes through your uh, conversations a whole lot and you have big long conversations that you scroll through and you're trying to find a certain conversation or something that somebody said uh, when you get almost up to where you're wanting to go then the person you're talking to sends you a text and out the uh, the iPhone or iOS is built to automatically flip you back down where you can read it automatically well this keeps that from happening uh, it, it, you won't have to worry about your scro your scrolling whenever you're trying to find a conversation. So if that's something you think you can use, that is a freebie and doesn't require any kind of configuration or anything like that. Next one's called Lock Editor. It's 99 cents. And this adds a long list of things, guys, to your lock screen. So if we go into the Lock Editor settings here, and go to configuration you see here's your passcode settings you get several of those you can disable blur uh, the button ring no button animations you can hide the emergency button you can add custom passcode text and you can even re it says custom requires a passcode and you can add a custom text ID so whatever you want to do with that you can hide your chevrons and I'm just sort of scrolling through this you can hide your status bar uh, grabbers date and time and miscellaneous here it says custom slide to text uh, that's probably where I should have entered in what I wanted to see so if we had put in right there my iPhone then we should have that popping up but but you'll see it does require a respring and that's something I didn't want to get into but we'll go ahead and hit it real quick and see just exactly if that changes our custom text whenever we get our log back in so it won't take just a second and we'll look and as you can see down there at the bottom now when we got the text in the correct spot it put it where it was supposed to go it does say Mitch's iPhone and it looks pretty cool it's even replaced the little slide to unlock button with like a little chevron thing down there at the bottom now so if you want to customize your uh, lock screen then I would say this is definitely the way to go it seems uh, they offer several different things you can change. You can change the gradient on the top of the wallpaper or the bottom of the wallpaper. You can do all sorts of things with this. So check it out. It's called Lock Edit, and that one is 99 cents too in the uh, Big Boss repo. 
So if we go back in here, you'll see the next one's called Lock Predict. Now what this one does, it works on your keyboard. And if you can remember, normally up there at the top, right in the center, you have this little thing. You could touch it, and it would actually minimize the, that little uh, suggestion bar. Well, now that's gone because seemed like there was a lot of people complaining that while they were texting and uh, hitting the different buttons up on the top row, it was minimizing that bar by accident, and then you had to go back in and just get it to display again, and which took a little bit of, of time. But now they've actually taken that out using this new tweak here that you see. And this one is free. It won't cost you one penny to use this. It's called Lock Predict. Now, the last one we're looking at here is called Aquaboard for iOS 8. It's $2.99 in the Big Boss repo. And if you like raindrops, that kind of thing, that sort of effect, I should say, on your screen, then you're really going to enjoy this one. We've had this before, and as you can see, when I touch the screen, it looks like it's making water move in the background, which gives it a pretty cool effect. Now, if you go into your settings in here, you can change some of this stuff around. If you go into Aquaboard for iOS 8, right up here at the top, and you can see you can turn it on and off for the lock screen or the home screen. You know, if you didn't want it to work on one or the other of that, you could turn it on or off. And you can change the uh, different kinds of turbulence here it says raindrops this one's pretty cool it makes it look like raindrops more if you just touch the screen on this one I'm sorry about the little dog she's not feeling good but anyway guys that's five awesome tweaks this week this week grab them I think you'll enjoy them hit that subscribe button and as always share this it really helps us a great deal leave us a comment let us know what you think keep coming back.